Actually, I looked at a few post back programs. Um, I think one major thing that set Hopkins apart is the tutorial and just the connections with the other branches of Hopkins, which is something that a lot of the other ones, um, they can't compare in that area. Well, one of the first experiences that I had with advising is I was initially interested in a psychiatry tutorial. And um, Alex Tan, after talking to me, convinced me to do neurology because she thinks that it's more quantitative and uh, basically my interest in research may be a better fit for neurology. And so I ended up doing a neurology tutorial and I think that it is a much better fit because I actually volunteered at a psychiatry tutorial immediately prior. Um, and so just something like that, uh, I guess it's just having many years in the area and you begin to realize what tutorials, what opportunities might be a good fit for people, something that I never would have been able to anticipate. In my medical tutorial, um, I sort of continued some of the work that I did as a philosophy major studying, studying embodied cognition. Um, and so we were looking at the cognitive symptoms of a motor disorder called cerebellar ataxia. Um, and sort of the idea of it is to characterize what is the cognitive role of the cerebellum, um, because for many years people thought that it was just involved in motor skills, but we're realizing now that isn't the case. Um, and so I started really just grading a particular test that we did, and then over time I expanded into analysis, writing, and eventually I got a paper published on that topic. It's prepared me um, in the sense that now I've had a diverse range of experiences connected with medicine and opportunities that I never would have had doing sort of a DIY, like reaching out to people independently um, through the medical tutorial program, through um, just shadowing um, in the hospital in a Parkinson's clinic, um, all the different academics and all the different professors who I'm able to, who I've built, you know, relationships with. That's something that I think um, it's going to serve me well as I pursue a career in, you know, research and in clinical work.